Well, um, a lot of research has been done on the subject and has been implemented in practice. And there are several criteria that have to be looked upon in order to have good colostrum engine. We see that the scientific evidence on that subject is, is, is aging for decades. It has been established decades ago, but nevertheless, mistakes are made every day. And um, that is the reason why we try to explain over and over and over again to farmers what good colostrum management should be. And basically, there are four factors to look upon. First one is colostrum quality. You should start with colostrum that is of sufficient quality. And that basically means at least 50 grams of IgG per liter of serum. And data have demonstrated that in beef breeds in general, that is not a problem. But in dairy breeds, you can have concentrations below the 50 grams of IgG and using such a colostrum makes it rather difficult to obtain a sufficient amount of IgG because that brings me to the second point we have the quality there's also the quantity and it has been demonstrated that 100 grams of IgG given to a calf is an absolute minimum so it's better to give 200 grams in our case with the Belgian blue breed which is a little more susceptible to uh, uh, infectious diseases we go up to 300 grams in order to have sufficient amounts of IgG in these calves but if you start with a 50 gram IgG per liter quality of colostrum, that means that you basically have to give four liters. Now, a third important aspect is the timing of giving this colostrum. Um, it has been said years ago that if you give colostrum within the first day of life, that that is a good thing. But recent data demonstrate that the, uh, the uh, efficiency of absorption goes down over time as hours progress. And the uh, uh, consensus today is that you should give that 200 grams of IgG within the first six hours of life. So basically, you have to have a good quality colostrum, at least 50 grams, try to give 200 grams in total within the first six hours of life. Um, what we advise farmers to make no mistake and take all these factors into account is to immediately after birth or within the first hour after birth feed the calves with the colostrum. And we try to, ha to get the 200 grams in the calf within these first hours, within this first feeding. If the calf doesn't drink well enough, an advice that is given is to tube feed the calf using an esophageal tube in order to immediately give the 200 grams in that first feeding. You can try several feedings, but then you lose time again in order to be very efficient on the labor. Uh, um, we say we do it all in one. Um, doing so, using such an esophageal tube, has certain risks because if a calf drinks his colostrum it will enter in the apomasum. There it is acidified and once acidified there's hardly no germ multiplication. If you tube feed a calf the colostrum is put into the rumen and in the rumen, the, the rumen of newborn calf, there's no acid environment. So that basically means that the colostrum is stored there at body temperature which is 39 degrees. Um, and if the colostrum is contaminated, which is always possible, the cow can either share the germ via the milk or via the other in the colostrum, or there can be some environmental contamination. If a germ is present in that colostrum, that germ will multiply within the rumen exponentially. And there are two risks there. One risk is that you may infect your calf um, and that can provoke disease uh, if you have a fiddling germ. Second negative aspect of that is that germs interfere with the uptake of the uh, immunoglobulins from the colostrum. So that is the reason why we advise farmers when they uh, use the tube feed to work in a very, very hygienic way. That basically means clean the tube feed, uh, the tube after every feeding, disinfect the tube after every feeding, mill the colostrum as clean as possible. All the material that is used to mill the colostrum, store colostrum, should be very, very uh, hygienically uh, um, stored. And, and this is quite an important issue. Um, but if farmers succeed in giving good quality colostrum, sufficient amounts in order to reach the 200 grams within the first six hours of life. If they have hygienic colostrum, we see that that procedure is the best because you have very little labor. And if we test the calves afterwards for, uh, for a transfer of, of passive immunity, we see that all these calves succeed in that test, have sufficient uh, uh, protection.